uh, physical working with John, although I was probably first formally associated to you, to, to, to you Luke, as a as a person. At least you provided probably the money. Money, I, I think, and I re remember that. So, so as, as John it, provided the money. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. So, so we started. Uh, so, so previously I was in Dublin, and then I was working on W, w algebra, actually conform algebra, and. At that time, there arise some new constructions, the generalized green principle of hierarchy, which had to, had to do with, with W algebra. And very, so I, I somehow brought this problem here to construct generalizations of green principle of uh, hierarchies. And I remember that we started to discuss with uh, you, you, with Luke also, with, with discussions, and, and uh, another visitor, Ian Marshall, participated. But after a while, you were probably at that time be busy. So after a while, you, you dropped out of the of the thing and, uh, and <laughs> yeah. So you did some other other things and uh, so so at the end we wrote. Uh, I think it's a re reasonable paper in, in communicate communicate mathematical physics on so certain classes of general general KDB hierarchies associated with certain Heisenberg subalgebras of 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 F five F five E algebras. And uh, I remember that John, you were extremely enthusiastic at that time, for example, about the other constant sign construction and R matrices. So basically, I, I learned about that here, and uh, these, uh, these concepts will appear also on this talk. I also remember that you were also very busy, probably because of the teaching duty. So we were many times waiting for you to come for the discussion, but, but, but then when you, when you arrived, then it was very, very intense. So yeah, at the end, it was really a great experience for me and I, I love to love to come, 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 come back to you. So I, I, so I, I let me start uh, this, uh, this talk basically. So as I basically spent three, three years on, on, uh, on, Biometric structures of Sutherland type models. You know, I, I sort of, I, I more or less for, for so as I report some kind of summary of what, what, what I was trying trying to do. So of course uh, we we all know about Kaluza uh, and Sutherland and uh, and uh, sim similar models and uh, and the example of of these Hamiltonian particles move, moving on the circle. And due to some uh, classical works of Olshevsky, Paralomov, and Kaltan Konstant Sturberg in, 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 in the late 70s, this, this was realized to be, uh, to be a shadow in, in the plateau of uh, stands of, uh, of uh, geodesic motion on the, on the UN group. UN group by fixing the, the large number of constants of motion to a very specific, specific value, the fixing the momentum to a very specific, specific value. And this is very, very influential, influential, influential work. And uh, so, so then later people, people realized that, well, you can fix the, 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 the causal quantities for this free, free particle moving on you and in, in, in Whatever way, and you always get some integral integrable system. If you fix the so here here the group X by conjugation, you fix the moment map or the or the unitary charge generating that 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 uh, that action to specific value, then you get this Sutherland model of of, uh, of just particles moving on the circle. But if you fix the moment map value to moment map to some arbitrary arbitrary value, then you get then, then your reduced phase is no longer a cotangent bundle, but contains some kind of internal degrees of freedom, which people tend to call spin in this in this this context. And here, this, this spin variable is just some some uh, Hermitian -Her 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 matrix with zero, zero diagonal part, and uh, it somehow controls the the interaction of the particles, and it's also a dynamical degree of freedom. So this this is what I call his spin Sutherland model. Okay, and. Uh, then uh, there are various generalizations, many, many generalizations of this model. And among the most straightforward generalizations, one may mention the, the holomorphic version. And you just say that all variables are not real, but, but complex value than the holomorphic system with mathematicians, like, 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 like especially the holomorphic stuff. Some of my background is, is in physics, so I, I like if the, if the particles move on the circle, on the line, and, on the, and, and so on. 
So, so it is also known that the holomorphic version of the of the spin satellite model it, it comes by reduction from the from the cotangent boundary of GLNC. GLNC this this complex comp, comp, complex Lie group, and then the trigonometric and hyperbolic real forms. The trigonometric one I already mentioned it comes from cotangent bond of UN group, kind of symmetric space with with negative curvature, and then the hyperbolic one comes from the symmetric cotangent bond of symmetric space. With with uh, positive curvature, which is just the space of uh, of of, uh, of hair, of positive that positive that it had, we should mean which I quote core PN, PN. And this 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 symmetry, it's important that this 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 symmetric space is itself a quotient space of the GL, GLNC over UN. GLNC you view, you view as a real legal. So so there are so we am thinking that the homomorphic spin satellite model and then the real forms that all of them are understood to come by by Hamilton reduction method. So so what I what I realized uh, by some kind of ex accident, I think about some 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 papers is that uh, the, the these cotangent bonds which are listed there, all of them are by Hamilton and manifold in some natural natural manner. I mean the 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 of course, one of the Hamiltonian structure or the, or, the, or the syntactic structure is just the canonical one for the cotangent bond. But there's another, and there's another one on these phase spaces in such a way that the that the natural natural Poisson commuting Hamiltonians, which I, I will I will show, uh, they generate by Hamiltonian flows. And and then I then I sort of utilize this idea to 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 apply the reduction technique not only to the to the to the canonical Poisson structure, but to the to the Bayhamitonian structure, and in this way, I obtain some Bayhamitonian structure for for the reduced systems for these in satellite systems, and then the same same idea can be applied to to this cotangent bond of the GLNR group, and then then by same same kind of procedure, I can also get um, get Bayhamitonian structure on, on this associative algebra G, GLNR and by a real matrix, which has to do with the biometric structure of, of the open totalities, which we, we heard, heard about. Okay, so now I have to use this. So that we all know what is a Bayhamitonian system that we have two, two person backets and uh, and uh, and uh, in such a way that that the the, the the the, the 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 Hamilton equation can be represented with different Hamiltonians and different parts of the same Hamilton equation can be represented in two ways. And these two two Poisson structures are compatible in the sense that arbitrary linear combination is 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 is, is, a, is satisfies the Jacobi identity. And then one important feature, which of course we also know that if there is a sequence of Hamiltonians which satisfies this sort of recursion relation or Anyway, this relation and then these Hamiltonians are, are automatically in evolution and in several integrable systems, this, this structure, structure appears. Okay, so I will be, so one of my aim is, is to derive certain, certain compatible Poisson structures. And here I, and I am going to make use of a very basic lemma, which actually also used in our, our work with John here, how you obtain, for the KDV, it's also known that the, First structure is a lead derivative of the second structure, or by a sort of shift argument, the first structure comes from the from the second structure. So the general general formulation of this this mechanism is that is, is, is written here the band or lemma that if we have a Poisson algebra with a derivation and we define a new bracket by, by this formula, we obtain apply the derivation to the function, to the function. Then this this new bracket uh, will be, which is you can see this lead derivative in the in the language of of vector. If, you, if this is if, if the in the Poisson tensor and this the derivation comes from vector, then this is lead derivative of the Poisson tensor along the, along the vector field. And this derivative bracket is automatically, of course, anti-symmetric and satisfies the Ramis identity. But the Jacob identity is, is does not hold in general, but when it holds. Then, then this new bracket is automatically com compatible with the original one. And uh, in several examples of bi-habitant systems, this is the mechanism whereby one obtains uh, compatible Poisson bracket. So there's one one bracket, and then, then the lead, some lead derivative of, of that, that bracket gives another, another, another bracket. 
So I will apply this mechanism also here. Okay, so this is the plan of the talk. So first I will tell you about this, uh, this uh, bio return structure on the holomorphic quantum element of GLNC and then this reduction, which gives the, the holomorphic spin Sutherland system. And then I, I repeat this for the real, real case, but with a different reaction, which gives, gives the, the actually this kind of general astrovec total like equation on the GLN ideas out of it with Professor Daft and Tome and, and Lee considered in, in 89, if I, if, I be, if, I, if I am correct. And then there is another application of the same, same idea, basically, cotton and band of GLNC is really dependent, it's kind of another kind of spin saddle lens system. Okay. So, so, so here I just, just described the whole of the cotton and of GLNC. So we have the trace pairing on the on the Lie algebra GLNC, and then we trivialize the cotangent bundle by uh, by right translations, and then then it becomes Cartesian as a manifold uh, Cartesian product of group with the with the Lie algebra, with the algebra identity with the dual space through the through the through the trace pairing, and then I need to then we consider holomorphic functions on this phase, which I call M, M this phase space, of course, to be short, holomorphic functions on this phase space. And then we need to do some notation. So the first variable is group, group value, the second variable is Lie algebra value. So for, for B, we have, I mean, this, this nobla one, nobla one prime is, nobla one means derivative with respect to the first variable. So in, it is derivative on, on, on the group is Lie algebra value, value, value derivative. Basically, it's exterior derivative translated to the uni, uni, unit, unit, unit element to be, to be, to be Lie algebra value. And on the, in the second variable is Lie algebra value. So we have usual gradient with respect to second, second variable is, is D2. And then it's also convenient to, to introduce this is Nablus, the Nablus derivative with respect to the sec second variable. Okay, so, I, so this is a notation, derivatives of functions which will appear in the, in the Poisson vacuum. And then I will also use the standard and the dream -type, gym -boat type R matrix. So, so this uh, GLNC is decomposed into upper triangular diagonal and strictly lower triangular part. And then difference of two, two projections is this basic solution of the of the modified classical young young equation. So with these notations in hand, here is a formula for two Poisson structures on my phase space. So the first structure, you can re re recognize this Lee, uh, I mean the Lee bracket here. So this is basically the Lee Poisson bracket with respect to the second variable, the, the Lee algebra value variable. So this first bracket is nothing but the canonical Poisson bracket on the cotangent bundle. Which is of the, of the group, and the second second bracket is second bracket is contains the R matrix. In the first line, you can recognize this clearing bracket on the group GLNC with, with this R matrix, and uh, and then there is some which contains only the second derivatives. Uh, there is some some interaction between the first and second derivative. So one feature of this bracket is that the first bracket is, is linear in, if you consider the, the, the matrix element functions on the phase space. Then on those functions, this bracket is linear, or the second one is second one is quadratic. Quadratic. I will say something about the origin of the second bracket a little bit later. Now you have you can in principle verify directly that, that the second bracket also satisfies the Jacob identity. Okay. So the so the one result is that that actually the the the, the the first bracket, that is the canonical person bracket, is the, is the lead derivative of the second bracket with respect to the vector field whose phi is that. So in, in, in other words, you just shift the Lie algebra element of GLNC by multiple unit matrix and then take the derivative uh, of the of the positive bracket with respect to that, like in KDV really reminiscent of K, KDV, and then, then you get the get the first bracket. So these two brackets are compatible because, because of this, because of the basic lemma. And now to now on, on this phase space, there's a natural family of uh, functions, namely this, this L is basically viewed as a kind of a lux matrix. And just the just the 
the trace of various power, power. So because they are not independent because L is just an n by n by n matrix. And then the, the fact is that that uh, if you consider such a I mean, of course, to a function, you associate the vectors, vectors is with the Poisson bucket, or, or, or two vectors with, with, the, with the two, two Poisson bucket. And then the sort of very easy proposition is that, is that these natural uh, functions, they, they satisfy this Bayer-Newtonian uh, recursion kind, kind of relation. So the so they generate Bayer-Newtonian flows on this or this holomorphic cotangent bundle, and here is a solution of these Bayer-Newtonian flows. Of course, the L, the new algebra very very is constant among all those flows. So these are the, those, so this means that these functions Poisson commute with respect to both both Poisson structures, and and the, the and the and the other otherwise the the Hamiltonian vector field is given by this formula. Or in short, it means that that uh, if if you take the the age m and age m m plus one, then then uh, this, this, the the corresponding flow is just this. That L is constant and it is is is, is the flow the orbit of one parameter group of the GLN GLN state. So the basic point is that that this is a bi bi Hamiltonian flow, and I was su surprised that. Um, this should, should, should have been a long time, and maybe it was known, but I, I asked several people, they did not tell me that this, this was known. So this is the basic observation. This is what when I say that some natural by Hamiltonian system on this, this, uh, this, this cotagent bundle. And since the cotagent bundle is an important source of other integrable systems, so this has some consequences for the review system, which are obtained from, from those cotagent bundles. So here I just just remarked that the second structure is actually is obtained by some some procedure from this, which I also I think learned from John the Heisenberg double Heisenberg double of uh, of uh, GLNC. It is obtained by some some uh, rest, restriction and some some analytic continuation. So so basically the second structure is. Is, uh, is is comes from the from the, from Poisson group theory from the Poisson analog of the cotang cotangent bundle. And uh, okay, and now I come to the to the reduction. So the very essence of 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 Hamilton reduction in uh, or Poisson, the very essence is that we have some some group action and we just keep the we just keep the invariance. We are interested in invariance with respect to the group action. We basically caution the phase space by the group action, and then then look for sympathetic leaves in that caution space. And uh, and but for that to work, it's necessary that the, the invariant function with respect to our, our, our group action should form a group, should be should form a Poisson subalgebra with respect to the Poisson bracket, because then we identify the invariant functions with smooth functions on the on the space of orbits and then looked in a Poisson algebra on the space of orbits in the, in this manner. Of course the space of orbit is not usually not a very decent manifold, but the structure is is un, un, under understood. Understood. So here the action, the group action is just this conjugation, conjugation. The symmetric group is GL, GLNC itself. Okay, and I introduce this whole MG is just the invariant functions. And uh, so it's it's it's, uh, it's also follows from general Poisson theory for through the Heisenberg double, but one can verify directly that the second Poisson structure has the property that the invariant function screws, because for invariant functions one can rewrite the second Poisson bracket in such a way that the R matrix actually drop drop out from it, and then the then the, this this gradients of the invariant functions are equivariant, and the trace pairing is, is, is invariant. So for that reason, for the, for the invariant functions, the structure causes. Of course, for the first back, it is obvious that the that the invariant function functions cause. Okay, okay. So now I describe the the always. Is, is it true that is it true that uh, for both structures that the uh, the symplectic structure uh, that you're using is, is G invariant. Yes, but the second one is not simple, not symplectic. Uh, of, it, it actually, the neighborhood of the of the identity it is it is it is symplectic, but it, it is not symplectic globally. 
but uh, but uh, the, but uh, so it is it is poor. It is not it is for the second hypothesis is not invariant because it is poor so poor solid theory. But the but the invariant functions do close. Yes. So now to 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 describe some of the try to try to characterize the, the this reduction. So by by the process, I just mean that let's focus on invariant functions. Focus on invariant functions. So there's some notation that well, I denote by G zero the diagonal diagonal subgroup of G L N C diagonal elements diagonal matrices, and the regular part is when when those eigenvalues are different are different, and then. There is some dense open part of GLNC, which contains the basically the regular semi-simple conjugates, the classes, if you like, or, or just the matrices which, which are conjugate to such diag diagonal, diagonal matrix. And uh, so I introduce this regular part of the phase space, and the zero means that the that this first element is diagonal matrix, diagonal matrix. And then so 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 basically this whole M red. It just means the invariant functions on my phase space. But if I take an invariant function on my phase space, I, I restrict it to this to this submanifold, and this submanifold uh, intersects uh, every every or, every every orbit in the regular part. And and the other function can be also the regular part is dense and open, so function can be even continuous function can be re 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 recovered from restriction to this reg regular part. And uh, so, so the point is that an invariant function can be can be recovered from its restriction to this to this to this to this submanifold of my phase space. So I'm going to represent the Poisson bracket of the invariant functions by some bracket of the restricted functions on this phase space. It's some kind of gauge gauge fix thing in physics language. It's a partial gauge fix thing because there is still Conjugation freedom with respect to the normalizer of this of this maximal torus, which contains the maximal torus itself and some some permuta permutations. So this this normalizer is is n. So I'm going to talk about some some maximal torus invariant functions on this regular part and and uh, normalizer invariant and the and the and the restrictions of of, of all the all the invariant functions. Okay. So then I define what I call reduced Poisson structure is, is the following that uh, I take some, some function on the some invariant function on the regular part of the phase space and, and I, re I restrict it, I restrict it to, to, to this gauge, this partial gauge fixing in physics language when the group element is diagonal. And then, then I define the 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 the, the, the Poisson or the bracket of such such functions such way that take arbitrary invariant extension and then compute the Poisson bracket and restrict it. It's kind of usual usual, usual usual procedure. So so anyway, this is how how reduced Poisson bracket is, is is defined. So it's it's rather than the, the original Poisson bracket of the invariant functions, which is the invariant function and then restricted to this to this partial gauge fixing. And, and 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 this applies to both Poisson brackets. So in in this way, these two reduced Poisson brackets will be automatically compatible because their original ones, their origins are compatible. And then, well, the, the 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 if I have a reduced function, then I then I still can can talk about its derivative with respect to the first variable, which is diagonal matrix. The derivative is the first variable. And uh, derivative is the second variable. So the derivative is the first variable is now, now the the, I mean it is a di diagonal matrix in G G L N C G L N C. Uh, and then one result is that I derive formulas for the reduced Poisson for this reduced Poisson structure. So the it is kind of. Uh, in a way, it goes back to the work of Samuel of Tranchansky. The first thing, well, not, 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 sorry, no, no, no. Uh, so, no, so, so the first, so both of these quadrilateral constructions contain dynamical R matrix. This is the kind of Poisson structure which was, which was introduced by, by, by the several people, basically by, by Lu and Chow Li and Ping Su, but not by this reduction technique, just by, 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 by direct, direct method. 
So it is, uh, and this diam what is the diameter of matrix here? It depends on Q. So it is just that uh, this group element is, is some exponential of little Q and power, and, and then, um, then uh, this is a linear operator on GL, GL, and C, and the X element of GL and C is the, so the diagonal part of the result is zero. So it is zero on the diagonal subspace of GL and C. And on, on the off diagonal part, it is just given by X field formula. It's called co tangent hyperbolic FPRC here. There. This, is, this is then on, this is some kind of standard very basic solution of the class of the very basic trigonometric solution of the classical dynamical young Baxter equation, modified classical dynamical young Baxter equation. Okay, so so this this uh, and, and 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 the same arm is appears in the re reduced second Poisson decade. So this is kind of similar to uh, if, if this, uh, this this was a constant, this was a square in decade, but it is not not, not constant. Okay, so so this is the formula of the of the reduced uh, Poisson structure, and and actually these 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 formulas also give Poisson structures on. On, on functions which are only invariant to the to the to the, to the, to the, to the maximal torus conjugation by the maximal torus and con, conjugation action by the by the normalizer of the maximal torus. Okay. Okay. Well, maybe I don't don't uh, explain how these were derived. It's some kind of easy, 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 easy derivation. So the point is that. That uh, an invariant function is uniquely determined by its restriction to this to this gauge fixing, and then of, then then of course also the derivative of the of the invariant function is, is, is recovered by from the derivative of the restricted function. And how how the derivative of the of the of the of the invariant function is recovered from the derivative of the of the restricted function? This you can derive, and and this 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 contains this R matrix, and then you just plug plug the derivatives of the of the orig original functions into the formula, and then you obtain back it in terms of the restrictive function, and then it turns out to be to be what I wrote. Okay, and after that, uh, what about some some kind of re reduced di dynamics? So of course we have we have Poisson algebra on certain invariant functions uh, in that that partial in this manifold which has the partial gauge fixing. So we can we can take the derivative of an I mean, a derivative of an invariant function is can be defined by taking Poisson back with respect to this, this this trace of Lm, the basic 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 Hamiltonians, basic Hamiltonians, and in this in this this way uh, we obtain some. Uh, I mean, the evolutionary derivatives of of invariant functions, and these can be represented by vector fields. But those vector fields are, of course, not unique because our functions are invariant. So, 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 I mean, there's some residual gauge problem which doesn't, doesn't fix completely the, the so, so, the, so, the, so these, these uh, reduced dynamics is written here, written here, what is reduced dynamics? So it contains, contains uh, this kind of uh, log equation, the dynamical R matrix, R matrix again, and how the, the, the Q, the diagonal, GLNC matrix develops it, it is, it is from the zero means the diagonal part of a matrix, so from the Lux matrix. And one can one can add here some, some arbitrary diagonal matrix which represents residual residual gauge transformation. Well, it will not change the, the development of the invariant functions. Okay, so we obtain this reduced system, and then actually it is known how this is. I mean, how this is related to the spin circle emulator, which I started with. So suppose that that this L is some M general element of GLNC. So you can represent it by its diagonal part P and some off diagonal matrix in this manner. It's a unique representation of, of an arbitrary N by N uh, com complex matrix. And and we and, and actually this is a form, this is kind of standard form of the of the Lux matrix of the spin Sutherland Sutter model, which is known from other 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 sources. So if we substitute if you substitute this formula into the reduce first person bucket, then it, it turns out that this P and the logarithm of capital Q D are chemical conjugate pairs and, and phi uh, phi decouples them and it satisfies some some reduce lipo, lipo so the so from, from the reduced first person back it 
you, you obtain the, the usual structure of the spin cell and model. And but 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 in terms of the in terms of the variables, which is just L and Q, that is a second second Poisson structure which, which I wrote. I actually did not the, the form of the second Poisson structure in this parameterization seems to be complicated and is not no enlightening. Let me put it this way, or I did not did not see any anything enlightening about it. So this is then the first part of my talk. And uh, out of this holomorphic spin Sutherland model, with now with the with the biometric structure, one can go to go, one can recover the trigonometric and hyperbolic real forms by 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 seeing that the the matrix L is is is, is Hermitian, Hermitian matrix, and the, and the matrix matrix Q is uh, is uh, is either either positive definite Hermitian matrix or or or, or unitary. Positive definitely diagram matrix or, or diagram matrix with positive elements, or it's a, it's a diagonal unitary matrix. Then 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 you then you obtain the, the trigonometric and trigonometric and hyperbolic uh, uh, spin and models, and you you can you can recover by Hamilton structure for from for those out of this holomorphic structure. Those by Hamilton structures for the three or fours also have independent derivation. As I mentioned, from the cotangent bundle of T star T star U N, and also from the cotangent bundle of this real real group G L N C G L N C regarded the real league group, and then these parts were these part these results were published in in four 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 papers. Okay, and now I come to I'm a little bit uh, behind not much. I also started a little bit late. <laughs> remember, so the. To the, to the, to the, to the part. So there is another application of the same same idea, same idea. So so let's just consider GLNR uh, and this will be our phase space, our phase space for this generalized to the I don't know how, is it, how to call it. So then let's take the R matrix which is difference with this other cosine science R matrix, which is difference of which which is difference of two projections. This this A is the is the orthogonal orthogonal uh, orthogonal Lie algebra skew symmetric matrix and B is is upper triangular this kind of Borel type subalgebra upper triangular subalgebra with with, with, uh, with the diagonal, diagonal elements and then we have we have this R matrix and then the, the property of this R matrix is that its anti symmetric part which is actually the standard R matrix. This R matrix and its anti-symmetric part satisfies the modified classical young bester, modified classical young with the same right hand side. And, and, in, and in such a situation, Lee and Parmentier and Ovel and Ragnisko discovered some lo long time ago that that uh, that in addition to the to the linear R matrix person back it. Or other Kostan Sainz or, or Samuel Tianshansky, in addition, you can write a quadratic bracket, which contains the symmetric part of this R matrix and the anti-symmetric part. So this is actually always valid if you have, have, uh, have uh, two R matrices, which is the, the anti-symmetric part and the original R matrix that is the same, same equation, as, as you are in an, on an associative algebra. But and, and now this is satisfied in this example of GL, GL, GL and R. And uh, then we, we, of course, uh, on, on the GLNR, there are these, uh, I don't know, general to that, to that equations, which Professor Dart considered, for example, in this matrix factorizations and integrable systems. I think that was the title of, the, of your paper in, in 1889. Uh, it, is, it is known, actually, it was shown by Ugal and Ragnisko that, that, the, that the symmetric matrices as far as, the, as, far, as, as well as the tri diagonal symmetric matrices, they are also sub manifolds with respect to both of these brackets. So, in this way, you obtain by Hamilton structure for the so called full symmetric totalities and also for the standard op, 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 open totalities. Those by Hamilton structures were known, I mean, uh, they were known from other sources, but, but this is a kind of lead theoretic construction. And what is my, what is my contribution or our contribution with my my, my student uh, is that that uh, 
this also comes from Poisson reduction. For the first Poisson method, the are linear line method, but it's come from reduction. This is the Raymond Samuel of Tian and all these are. But for the second, second one, this is apparently appears to be new. So I take the same kind of phase space as before, but now G is GLNR, you know, GLNC, GLNR. And, uh, and, uh, and uh, I, every every formula is the same, just it's it just a trace trace plane, but now it is real. And then I then I do take quotient, but with respect to what the symmetry group is this A times B. A is orthogonal and B is uh, is upper triangular with positive diagonal entries. And because of the and, and this group acts in, in this way, in this way on the on the phase phase space, on the phase space, and because of the of the QU factorization or Gramsci procedure by this group action, you can you can remove this group element. You can you can make you can every every orbit of the symmetry contains such an element that the group element is the identity identity from this from the GLR group. So every invariant function of the original phase space, which is say F, F and H are two invariant functions of the original phase space. They, they 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 are uniquely represented by by functions on the, on the Lie algebra on the, on the Lie algebra by because because that 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 the, the group element is brought to the unit matrix so this is a, this is that unique representative of every every orbit of the symmetric group in our phase space and then oh, then define reduce Poisson bracket just restrict restricting the Poisson bracket of the invariant functions to this to this cross section of the of the orbits of the phase space. And then you then you recover the the two the, 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 those those compatible possible that written on the previous slide. Actually, you can also do this do this in, for the for the for the how do because it's L, LU factorization and the Cholesky factorization the same procedure same procedure we, we works with with suitable modification of the of the symmetric group and you obtain also by Hamilton structure for those generalized to to, 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 to the flows. Okay. And now the sort of the final part of, of my talk is yet another application of very similar thing. So I will be a little bit sketchy here. So there appeared in the literature some generalization of, of, of spin saddle angular, which people call spin saddle angular with two spins, two spins. So there is QP variable. So you, this is some kind of hyperbolic model, but you see hyperbolic model that there is Psi left and psi right, psi left and psi right, just just anti-hermitian matrix is such that the diagonal part of there some vanishes, and it matters. Also, there is the, the, the psi left and psi right; they matter up to conjugation by 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 maximal torus. Okay, and now I can equip this system with a bi-Hamiltonian structure again in the in, in, in the following manner. So now I started. Group GLNC, but regarding the real group, real group, and uh, consider the same kind of structure as before. And now the, the, the correct pairing on the Lie algebra is the real part of real part of the trace, which is basically has to do with the with the with the, with the Killing form in the in, of, of this uh, real real Lie algebra. I will not present the killing because it's GLN, GLN, not, not SLN, but if it was if it was SLN, then this would be the kill, killing form of the real Lie algebra or a multiple of that. So anyhow, I, one can just write formula for pos, two Poisson structures on this cotangent, but the same formula before, totally same, just the pairing of is, is, is the real part of the trace. Same kind of derivative. And this is by a little structure on this cotangent bundle of GLNC regarding the real, real Lie group. And then there are natural family of uh, kind of free Hamiltonians. I call them free Hamiltonians, which are, which, um, which, um, which whose shadows give the commuting Hamiltonians of the, of the, of the integrable system. So just real part of truth of J and ima imagine, imaginary part. And uh, do, be, those functions, they, they are the Poisson commute, so the both Poisson structures, and you can also write their flows. And, and the real part of the truth, those functions, they satisfy this, this, this bihemetonian relation. And the imaginary part, they also satisfy that sort of bihemetonian relation. And now we reduce 
by the action of un times un by which is this 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 could be done by left and right multiplication left and right multiplication and again the invariant function screws and uh, and now you can to represent, represent the invariant functions in terms of reduce reduce variables you, you make use of the single value decomposition that is every glnc matrix can be written in this way and this 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 expert this 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 q is such a real matrix with with the eigenvalues distributed distribute like that and then by the symmetric group you can remove these factors you can bring bring this group element to, to diagonal diagonal form and uh, also let's stick to the red let's go regular parts when these eigenvalues are actually different there's no, no coincidence and and then okay so this this will be our kind of this slice of partial partial gauge fixing so we represent the invariant functions by the restriction to to the, this this group element is such an such a such a positive positive diagonal diagonal matrix and then again i i, I perform the task of of deriving reduced person like it formula i didn't write it because it was a little bit long longer a little bit longer but uh, then if we now substitute this this element j this the, the, the parameter of this element j this is arbitrary gln symmetric but regardless of the real real arbitrary gln symmetric you can parameterize like this that that some di diagonal uh, diagonal uh, real real the real part of the diagonal part this is p and then then you put here this these functions of q and this, this side left and side right are as, 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 I, as I mentioned, anti Hermitian matrix is the such way that the sum of the diagonal part, the part is zero. So, this is, this is another unique parameterization, unique parameterization of a GLNC matrix. And if you substitute this parameterization to the reduced first person, person bucket, then, then, then uh, and also we reduce first person bucket, and also the, this, uh, this Hamiltonian, which is the the three one half trace of j squared then then you obtain this formula this formula this the sutherland model with two interacting spins and uh, this this i was somehow happy that this 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 work appeared this year in online only narity and uh, actually this kind of models were introduced before by by my my colleague Gab, Gab, with me with Gabo Pusta, who was also here a post of with John, he's from the same city as me, and more recently by Karl Krachev, Levin, Oshinsky, Zotov, and also Reshatikov, they developed similar, similar, similar models, but then they, they did, not, did not touch upon biometric aspects. So, in conclusion, so. So the whole content of my talk is that that I realize that these phase spaces are in, in some natural manner biometric and manifolds. And since since those phase since, since the reduction of and, and also with equipped some natural biometric and flow, so two possible structures and and this 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 so this three trace function, this natural commuting Hamiltonians. And uh, by some standard reduction procedures of uh, these manifolds, when applied to the biomet to the biomet structures, then they give biomet structure for certain new systems, which were which are already which were already considered before, even in this reduction context, but only considering the canonical Poisson structure upstairs, not this biomet structure. And by the way, all those all those uh, all these redo systems are more or less more or less proved to possess the property of uh, degenerate integrability on on generally symplectic leaves in the reduced phase space so they are not only newly integrable but it's kind of uh, uh, degenerate integrable or non commutative integrable especially reshetic in did a lot of lot of work on that maybe he mentioned some something like that in, in his talk but I say it's 90% true that everything is true, but maybe the details are, are com complicated. And uh, one of the open problems is maybe I will work on if I have enough energy to try to generalize this kind of construction for elliptic, elliptic, elliptic models. 
But for that, you have to consider some infinite dimensional starting phase, which makes life uh, more difficult. And I'm not sure it will work, but let's hope it will work. Thank you very much. This is the one. Any questions or questions? Uh, thank you for the talk. Uh, when we began thinking together with Sean Carlos Timmé and Lou, Lou Charlie about the turbulence on non symmetric real matrices, mm -hmm. then we, we wanted to see the symmetric structure as coming in front of us and with Boston structure. Mm -hmm. So then what we Found we had to do was to introduce new multiplication law on matrices. Yes. I mean, do you yes. see that structure? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that this new new multiplication wasn't it just the 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 dual, I mean the R matrix structure, the that yeah. that that you you represent uh, you represent you say you say you say you represent the matrix as a uh, so you see uh, how to put it, the G GLNC matrix or GLNR matrix, or GLN, let's call the GLNR matrix. You represent it as an orthogonal group element and the Borel element. And with respect to the linear R matrix, actually, these are independent. Uh, they satisfy their own uh, product, product rule. I mean, as if they commute, they commute under the R matrix structure. And, and I think if you, if you represent this, this, uh, this, uh, um, you write some uh, GLMR is as an manifold, it is U UN times uh, BN this Borel. And uh, so, the, so there is there's a diffeomorphism between those. And if you put here the, 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 the multiplication rule of the product group, and more than you, you, may, you have to make one of them the in, inverse, inverse in, or the opposite multiplication, opposite order, and you pull it back here, then I think that's, that, is the, the, that is the modified multiplication. That's the structure because it doesn't show up here. Yeah. I think, yes, I think it, this is, yeah, I looked at your paper, yes. Uh, so I think it is really related. But you also use some F infinite dimensional E algebra. Uh, if I it's just that the integrals, uh, some are rational and some you need a real surface form mm -hmm. to, to integrate. Them. Yeah, you were, you were looking for the action, uh, well, this generalized action angle, non -com not, uh, ang angle in inverted commas, uh, variables. I did not, did not consider, consider that, that because I, I think that, so you were mostly interested in limited integrability, yeah. but I personally believe that this, this degenerate integrability or non commutative integrability is more, in some sense, sort of different notion, and in a way it's a stronger notion because you have more integrals that you restrict the flows more directly. Uh, and the other question is something which we thought a lot about. And in those days, we were using these big, you remember these computer papers with confetti on the end, we were filling one up there. The, but the final question, which is an open con conjecture. So the symplectic structure for real symmetric matrices uh, is a deep possible structure. So say with a lower triangle group. Yes. And of course, it's a degenerate structure. But the conjecture was this, is that is the total lattice on every symplectic leaf mm -hmm. completely visible? Yeah, I think that that's um, I think that's true to that. Yeah. Yeah, they also thought it was true. But I think this is the kind of thing which, which I think Russia, I mean, there are some, some yeah, I also I can explain to you how how I, I more or less can prove this kind of statement. Okay, well, that's a, that's for no, for the for the general integrality, not for, for the general. So for, yeah, but also there's such kind of statement that in the in the in the real analytic uh, no no sorry in the C infinity category every degenerate integrable system is Liouville integrable. What's that? And every degenerate integrable system, in the sense of Nekorov-Shev and it's also legally integrable in the C infinity category. It is, it is proved. 
uh, and in the, in the real analytic category, it's a conjecture. It's not 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 proof. So it depends also what kind of functions you allow. But we were doing a very hands-on fashion, We're just seeing how to take the problem in the most uh, in the largest case, and then we generate and we generate and we saw no I did not really go grant well, into was 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 make sure we did it for staircase pattern, yeah. otherwise generic, but we never wrote it up. But mm -hmm. it's, yeah, it's true. More, yeah. more basic is the critical question the, the algebra theory. Can you describe all the simulated leaves? Mm -hmm. Yes. So yes, indeed here here for the for the second structure, yes, this is one of the one of the problems which I have to really describe describe the simple symplectic leaves. But if I make a comment, so that those are uh, uh, co-joint orbits of the of, of the Borel, and this is this was known for a long time to be wild program a problem. So, like in precise terms, yes. so you it, which which means that you probably cannot describe them in any well satisfying manner yet. Okay. But uh, <laughs> but it's still wild. So. But but I mean, well, that's a state. Yeah. But of course, there is also such a thing as this so-called orbit reduction procedure that that you fix the moment map to some some quadrant orbit, and then then the quotient space of that is supposed to be it not supposed to be, it is a Poisson sub manifold in the space of orbits. Yeah, but but in the modern theory, it is not necessarily a manifold, but then it is known to decompose the disjoint union of simple manifold. And this, and there is an analog of this for the Poisson lever. And since my base, my second structure really comes from Poisson theory with a, with, a, with a moment map in the sense of Lou, Lou, Lou there. So I think there is a control of the of, of group Poisson's, Poisson subspaces in the second structure as well. Not a perfect control, but there is some reasonable control of that. Questions? Maybe I'll venture a comment I shouldn't, but I will. <laughs> just about Chrissy's question. So the symplectic orbits, if you're dealing with this kind of uh, dual uh, uh, Poisson group structure, uh, are they not the uh, just the uh, co-adjoint orbits? No, they are not. Not. not uh, they, they, they are the resting, resting, good resting orbits. Resting. No, I mean resting. Yeah, no, when I say the dual, I mean the resting yeah, yeah, as the co-adjoint. Yes, that that is that is the only of the usual co-adjoint orbit. The resting right. orbit. So that's the are the co-adjoint orbits on the resting. On on in the in the dual group, and if you have the moment map, then you fix the moment map to such a dressing orbit, and you take the inverse image of that and quotient, and then you obtain. A Poisson subspace in the in the in the in the, in the quotient space, which which may may be this Poisson subspace, it's con it could be a sympathetic manifold also, or it's a stratified. It's not classified. It is not classified. It's not known, but only sympathetic. Well, I did not really study it. Let me put it this way. So. It's not also not known in detail. Not it was not described in detail. No. But I think let's again. Okay, thank you very much. Coffee break, coffee break now. Probably 10 minutes, half an hour. So, uh, do you know the program system? Uh, I, I, I copied it. It's uh, so, uh, just a second. So, uh, the, the next two terms are online, I believe. Still. Yeah, the half an hour break. Yes.